welcome to a new art vlog. In this one, we are getting ready for Christmas, getting in the Christmas spirit, doing some drawing at the Mall, a cheeky little art haul, and winding down to prepare for the new year. I hope you enjoy. package that's just arrived so we can do a little bit of an art haul. I actually only recently bought scrapbooking supplies but I've had to get a load more. I did a huge art haul and by the time you're seeing this it'll be up on the channel but honestly my partner had no interest in scrapbooking at all so when I ordered those supplies I was just thinking of like my bullet journal spreads and what I would use and now that the supplies are here he's getting really into scrapbooking but there's not a lot that he actually likes that I've picked out so I've ordered a ton of cute little items that I'm gonna wrap for Christmas the theme we're going for is like dark fantasy space but it's still really pretty so let's have a look okay okay we got a lot of different papers that was like the biggest thing that i got oh oh i know what this is okay so firstly we've got these ink pads i need to open these kind of gently though oh no it's a little bit broken oh that's sad Okay, this is what the ink pads look like. This one is a little bit broken here. I might see about super gluing it together. So there's slightly different gradients. Oh, that one's nice. The ink will mostly be used for lettering, so I thought these would be really fun. At the moment, I've only got black. I might try and super glue that back on just to make it look a little bit better. Very flimsy plastic, so disappointed but not surprised. Not off to the best start, let's see what we've got next. Next we've got these. I actually have these gel pens, but these are slightly different colours. The ones that I got were from Stationery Pal and they look pretty identical, like that is the same brand, so they're obviously from the same place. It's a darker set and I just think they're so pretty. The ones I got were really pastel. And one of the ones that I got last time were very... It kind of exploded a little bit, so I might just check that they're okay. I mean, I don't know like how long they will last because gel pens are a little bit funny like that. Now there's some slightly different colours to write with. Other things I got, I got these. I'm pretty sure these are stickers and there's a skull but I think they're kind of like body parts, there's like bones and stuff but they're more like anatomical than anything else. I don't think they all look like the first one. Oh, these look really cool. Oh no, they're kind of taped down as well. They're all virtually the same but they're kind of like music notes that have like fake burnt edges. I thought these were really cute. These next ones I was really excited about. They had some kind of fantasy looking ones and I just hope they're good quality. Okay, so they feel like, they do feel like thin paper, but they feel quite nice. Let's have a look. It's kind of like a fantasy forest vibe. Um, oh, something like that as well. Well, that one's upside down. 
This is 85 by 125. This is a really lovely size. I have a second that's very similar to this one, so I'm gonna grab that one next. I think it's this one, although it looks kind of different. So this one is fantasy again. You get like, okay, three of each. It's not the best quality. My partner's looking for like a dark aesthetic for his journal and he just does whatever he wants in there. So just some nice little fun stuff. I think that'd be really good. At the moment, we're both kind of getting into collaging and scrapbooking. I just think it's so fun and it's kind of relaxing as well, just sitting there like gluing things down and just making things pretty. It's so fun. If we stick on papers, this one I'm kind of curious about because it's so big, but I think it's kind of split in half. I mean, you could technically use the entire page, but I think you're supposed to kind of like cut down the middle. I love the way this one's presented like a book though. There wasn't a lot of like really dark stuff that I could pick. A lot of like scrapbooking supplies are just so pastel and cutesy, but because he's using white paper, he really wanted some like dark paper to stick on so it really contrasts. I think these will work, I think these are pretty dark. They're really cool though, like that's really lovely. I think I saw in the reviews that someone used the front cover as well because it's so pretty and I completely get that. I will say though I'm not a huge fan of wrapping up really small things so that's not going to be super fun. This one is steampunk. They had some steampunk things which was also like part of what he would like. So this one is, oh, you could so use that front cover, couldn't you? So it's kind of, no, it's a little bit translucent. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's a little bit translucent, actually. Oh, these are cool. These are big as well, you know. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, these are really cool. Yeah, I think he's going to like these. I just thought it would be really lovely to like open, just have like a look through all this kind of stuff because like, I mean, I like getting loads of little art supplies too and scrapbooking supplies are just so fun to have a look through because when you buy these kind of books, you don't know exactly what you're going to get in each one. But before I wrap them, I gotta check that everything's correct and he's going to like them. Okay, next we've got these. These are nice and big as well. I wasn't really sure about the size. I know like it said kind of five by three inches, I think was like the main thing. It's kind of hard to picture the size often. Oh, is it, it's, oh, it's glued down, it's glued down, okay. Slide that away then. Okay, this one is space themed. Oh, these are lovely. Yes, these are really cool. Oh, look at that one, that's dark. I must admit, I was really feeling the space theme, like, he'd never really said about space, but I just thought they were so cool. It was these maps that was the main reason I chose this one. At the moment, he's picking out a lot of, like, vintage stuff, although I have quite a few of those. Oh, I think this one might be my favourite. I love the space theme, but there was also a couple of uh, kind of steampunk ones as well, like the clocks here. That's kind of why I went for this one. This is a really, really cool one. You know what? That is my favourite item so far. I'm really happy with that one. You know, the good thing about getting a partner art supplies is that if they go off the hobby, then you can have everything. Next, this one's kind of boring. They're literally just little sticky notes, but they're really pretty colours. It's really small, but my thinking was you can either use them as sticky notes, I think they fit the colour theme really well, or you can literally just glue them down, because the way that he's journaling at the moment with, like, pattern paper, stickers, it's quite nice to have just little strips of colour. So I just thought this would be a really cool idea to just have like strips of colour that are already made. I don't know if it'll be used but <laughs> they're kind of fun. You're always going to use sticky notes aren't you? Okay these ones I must admit I sort of bought these ones for me. <laughs> I think you will like them maybe but I, I saw these and was like he should like them but I definitely like them. Okay, so they're kind of... I don't think that's gonna move. They're like old travel posters. These are so pretty, I love them so much. I'm pretty certain they're not stickers, I do think they are papers. I'm not sure, I don't think my partner had a super clear idea in mind, he just kind of asked for like vintage... 
things so I don't know I definitely like them oh stickers okay stickers are fun slightly different to the rest of the theme I would say oh they feel nice they're vintage and I think they're really subtle they also feel really lovely Other stickers I got, I got these. Now these were a little bit pricey, you only got 10, but they just looked fantastic. So I'm hoping that they are gonna be. They had quite a few choices and they're kind of castle themed. Oh, these are big. Look at that. Oh, these are so cool. I think this is like the Gothic architecture set. But how awesome are these? I really hope you like them. I mean, I like them. Look at that detail. They're the kind of sticker though, which I don't think I would have the heart to put them on a journal page. I think they would have to be a front cover sticker. These, these are little papers as well. Now the reason I got these is because I felt like there were very specific pages that really fit the theme. This one is a little bit smaller, a little bit cheaper, but sometimes it's good to have those cheaper filler papers that you can use in a journal so you don't feel as bad about using it. Next we've got these. These are like little stickers on a roll. I don't think I'll be able to show you because I still want them to look, yeah, it's completely wrapped. Okay, I'll try and explain. They're kind of like vintage tags. I thought they'd be really cute. I'm pretty sure they're already cut and they are just like little stickers on a roll. It just goes with the whole theme, I think. And I do like stickers. So they're just a lot easier. Okay, the final item is a little bit random, but bear with me on this. I got these tiny little like steampunk cogs. I think they're supposed to be for nail art. But I thought that these could be so fun, like decoupaged into a journal page. I have no clue if it's actually going to work or not, but I feel like as long as you seal them in, they're not going to be too thick. It could be great on a sketchbook cover as well. This is a little bit of a wild card, this one. It'll either work or it won't. And that's everything that I picked out. I think it was really fun to have a look through. It's definitely a slightly different style to what I chose. I very much went for the butterflies and the pretty stickers that have like glitter and hollow. Next, we need to wrap up everything and I'm really hoping it doesn't take too long, but there's quite a few items. I also have this Jackson's haul, which I've opened up and had a little peek just to check that it's all okay. But I'm currently waiting on that because I want to do my nails first and I'm not doing them until I go to a concert in a few days. So that's a shame. I also found this, which I totally forgot I had. Like, you can see how old it looks, but this smells amazing. I've just gone for a walk so I'm a little bit red but I'm currently sorting through my sketchbooks and honestly I kind of didn't realize that I had this many. Like I have so many I don't even know how many I have and I would love to do more sketchbook tours here on YouTube but the videos just do not do well. I've seen a lot of people do sketchbook tours and mine, mine just don't do well. But like look how many I've got. 
I also got, this is super exciting, I got a diary, a nice big diary. I got it from B&M and it literally says day a page, but it's a little bit frustrating because it's like day a page apart from on a weekend. I couldn't find any diary that doesn't do that. But this, I'm gonna be doing the daily doodle diary thing. It was created by Miriam Tilson and I literally heard about it in like February this year, so I just missed it. But I've decided I wanna do a daily doodle diary next year and my partner's actually joining me, so he's got one too. I really love the cover on this one. The surface is kind of like fake leather. It looks really nice and shiny, but I prefer the color. I think I'm gonna stick pretty close to what she did. I'm gonna highlight like the ones that I do so it's gonna be really clear which ones I do. And hopefully I'll be able to get quite a lot done. I'm gonna use whatever medium I want. Obviously like, I mean, that's not good quality, but it's just gonna be like a daily doodle just to encourage me to draw something every day. Even if it is just something absolutely tiny, it's not gonna be impressive, but this is what I've got. And even though I'm telling you about this now, this is actually gonna be like its own separate kind of vlog. So I'm gonna include a little bit of this in the art vlog. Like if there are certain days that I would like to include, I'm you're gonna see quite a bit of this doodle diary. You're gonna see some of it in this art vlog, but I'm also gonna be recording a separate daily doodle diary art vlog. And I think I'm gonna do like six months and then the second six months of the year. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I need to come up with like actual ideas. We'll do a little bit of a journal tour at the end of the year, but I mean, it's not even started yet. It might go horrifically wrong. So we'll see how that goes. I might decorate it with some stickers. That could be fun. And I wanna write on it like daily doodle diary so I know exactly what it is. These ones are still going. That one's still going. That's an older one. This one is still going. That one's still going. Okay, that's number 11. Oh, March of Robots, that's a shout. It's either, it's got to be March of Robots or this messy, I would say. This one is August 2023. Maybe it's this one, yes, yeah, September 23. Okay, this is number 13. I've not done much this year though. I've been really struggling to fill this messy sketchbook. Like, I just don't feel like there's anything good in it. And I did this banana this morning from the banana that I ate. And I've got like some stuff in here, but I'm just not super happy with this one. But I've been going at this one for June, 29th of June. This one, which I've had for a long while. I don't even have a date on this one. I think it might have been like July last year. The problem is like there's just so much transfer that it's just not a double-sided sketchbook. And I'm not a huge fan of the paper. These are just kind of fun pages. Again, like I've done this one, I quite liked it, but then what do I put on that side? That's part of a video. It's like five January ideas. It came out recently. This one I like, but like, look, this is the transfer that I'm talking about. I really like this one, which then means I have to do something really safe on this one. Do you see the problem? I have the watercolor one too, which I'm hoping I'm gonna like more, but this one, I'm not a fan. This one's finally at the point where it's literally flat. Like, it's taken so long, but because I did Pitch Tober, it's literally now, now finally flat. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do like sketchbook sessions in this one. So this will probably just be for videos for now. Today, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of watercolor doodling. My partner's asked if I could kind of show him how to paint skies. I recently gave him my very first palette, my little Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolor palette. I've replaced the white with a paint gray, so it is a little bit better. First things first, we're gonna use a flat brush. We have our clean water and our dirty water. This is kind of how you can do it as well. You can kind of so when it goes up in lines like that in like an early sunrise. Yeah. Will you still be
Something like fluffy reds though. Yeah, that's the one we've got. I really like it. I've just filmed a video, the lighting's changed a lot, so I'm glad that we've done that. It's my birthday art haul, and I just watched all of these, and like, look how gorgeous they look. Actually, there's probably a couple more clips that I should do, really. But that's the haul all done. We got back from Manchester recently, and honestly, the concert was so good. I've got one present to quickly wrap up, and then I was thinking we could sketch a movie scene together. I'm currently painting a movie scene. Let's see if you can guess what it is. It didn't quite go to plan. The skin is very dark, but this is what we've got so far. I think it's pretty obvious what it is, but what do you think? I'm gonna have to render it quite a bit. I don't know how I'm gonna fix it. And I think the background is gonna have to be the very last step. So it's gonna be quite a trust the process piece. The last one I did was Tangled and I loved how that one turned out. So I'm hoping this one will be good. 
Let's talk about Christmas. I got a camera, this camera that you're watching right now, I got a new camera. Honestly, I'd wanted one for so long. There's a lot that my DSLR can't do and editing iPhone footage is, it's not fun. I got a few other things. I got some scrapbooking supplies, some pens. Oh, I also got these, I got some markers. These are a little bit odd because they literally say, they say water soluble but they literally smell of alcohol and they bleed through the page. So I need to have a proper go with these, but we could try and create a piece. The color palette's quite interesting. I tried blending as well and it was really difficult. So I'm not sure if they're alcohol or water or mixed. I also got this tiny little sketchbook from my partner, which I really love. It's kind of like a hardcover as well, and it's got loads of watercolor paper in, and I just thought this was so cute. So I can do like little mini sketchbook sessions on my channel, which will be really fun. But I think I'm gonna end this art vlog here. The next time I'll see you in an art vlog will be in 2024. I hope it's such a good year for all of us. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of my future art vlogs. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.